I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6, so let's focus on verses 18 through 20. Flee from sexual immorality. Every sin a person can commit is outside the body, but the person who is sexually immoral sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is the sanctuary of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 18 through 20. Now, my family comes from Arkansas and Texas, horse and cattle country. And there was a time when the West was young and yet to be tamed, and when men staked claim to vast pieces of land. Everything in that land was their property to use as they wished. And the wild horses on that property may not have known it, but someone had staked a claim on them too. It was only a matter of time before the cowboys would come and make those wild mustangs meek to saddle and bridle. And such dominion was completely within the rights of a landowner. The first chapter of John's gospel is clear on the fact that Jesus created all that exists. By virtue of his death on the cross and resurrection from the dead, he bought us with a price. And that price was his own life. So not only is he our manufacturer, he is also our owner and our warrantor. And we are not our own. I understand that that's an offensive notion within our culture today, but it is a reality nonetheless. Now, I was living in Southern California a few years ago when a California court ruled on behalf of homosexual marriage. Now, if you are a homosexual in California, then you could get married to your partner. And now it's nationwide. And whenever Christians take a stand on this issue, or let's just say abortion or other biblical morality issues, well, then the secular community always responds with the same statement. Keep your religion and your laws off of my body. Well, in today's passage, Paul is reminding us that we don't even own our bodies. At best, we are subletting space which belongs to the Holy Spirit. As in any other lease situation, we have the freedom to decorate, to personalize, and otherwise exploit the space, but only within the limits and the requirements set by the landowner. In short, God gives us the ability to make life choices, but we are not free to choose wrongly and against His word and then expect no consequences eventually. The Corinthians had trouble understanding community. They were selfishly more concerned with their personal liberties than protecting the testimony and the reputation of the church at large. Does this sound familiar? Because that describes a lot of churches today. Paul's message could have been preached today and still considered to be tailor-fit for our times. His exhortation to us, then, is if you were bought with a price, you have no personal liberty apart from what is granted in Scripture. And those biblical abilities and rights, along with their limitations, are given to us so that God may be glorified in our well-being, both individually and collectively, that is, the community of faith. All of those rights are insured. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Check us out at groundworksministries.com.